Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to create a CRUD operation on the Google spreadsheet using the Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the simple CRUD operation. This is the get listing. So here what we have in the data over here. So it's coming over here, right? So let's try to add new one. So name, I will add my name Rajnikanth. Okay, age 20 and Chandigarh. Okay, let's submit this. So this record is inserted and let's go to the sheet and it's added. Okay, let's scroll this sheet full. Okay, this is added. Let's edit this. Chandigarh, I will add Mohali over here. Okay, let's try to submit this. And check is Mohali is there. Right. And it is there. Now we will delete this. Delete. This record is deleted. And here you can see that delete is record is deleted. Right. So the crowd operation is add we have done, edit we have done, update done, delete also done. Okay. So let's dive into the code level how we are going to achieve that one. Okay. So here we have the main file that is called the google.js where we have the rest apis okay so these are the all details that we have to fetch from the google cloud also so like the client email private key credentials like client email and the private key you will need to get it from the google developer console right so if you don't know how to get this uh, i have already uploaded this video uh, regarding the how to integrate the google api sheet into your node.js i have explained that part here okay so this part you can get it from here if you need that one you can also do write me comment on that one i will exp i will just add the link over here okay so we have the express google api google auth library body parser egs okay because egs basically we are using the template engine egs right and these are the credentials okay make sure the client email private key should be exactly the same else it will throw you the error and not giving the access of the google sheet scopes you need to mention this one scope and next we have the url encoded and the static where we are serving the static files okay then we have auth get client then sheet we are authentication that one with the version v4 okay spreadsheet id so this is the spreadsheet id i have this is the spreadsheet this is the id okay you need to copy this and add it over here right then we have a sheet one Currently, I am in the sheet one, right? Okay. Then we have a retrieve the data from the Google Sheet. So this is the retrieve data. You can see that the whatever the data fetch over here, this is from the retrieve data, right? So whenever we have the index page, then we are getting the data from the sheet. So what exactly the code is? So here we have a sheet spreadsheet to get values spreadsheet id range and return all the values with the slice exclude the header row okay then we have a create okay so render the create page and this is the create api so we are accepting the name age and the city and uh, append the values with the spreadsheet id range values import option resource this should be the name age and the city and redirect to the home page okay then we have an edit API on the behalf of edit ID, get data from the sheet. Okay. Then parse and require params.id we require. Then assuming ID starts from one and render edit block. Okay. So here and edit block. Then we have a handle form submission for updating the data. We get the params, name, a city, whatever. Then we have the spreadsheet values dot update. So make sure update is there. Spreadsheet ID, range, values into input option then the resource then redirect to the home page then we have a delete with the id okay so pass in requires params dot id values dot clear spreadsheet id range and then redirect to the home page okay then we have index dot egs where we have the form table so here we are entering all the table data so data dot for each okay and here what we have the data so this is basically uh, this is the data we are fetching and if i go to the index part of this one 
so when we have the root part what will happen so here we go with the root so this api call and it will what we are is response render index we are sending the data to that page so if i go over the index page we, i receive all the data of that google sheet because this api is already called and all the data passing to the index in that object okay so you have the index then we are rendering we are for each the data and uh, render each one of the item and with the action buttons edit and delete okay then we have a add new button where we are calling the create api okay move to the create one so this is create egs then we have form action is create then we have the fields like name age and the city okay then we have edit edit we have the name age and the city and whatever data is already that going to be prefilled over here okay because in the google.js you can see that when we have a edit so if i go over here render the edit page so we're fetching the data on the behalf of the parameters from the sheet okay and then sending the item and the id okay so that's the reason when we do any kind of edit so all that automatically comes over here okay so this is the full fledged crud operation for the google sheet in the node shares any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day